kind of stunned at all of this? Or? Well, I know I was stunned. I mean, I think I was kind of out of the loop. Like, I came to the rink this morning, and everyone's like, you hear it happen? And I was like, what do you mean? They're like, Kali went up. And I was like, are you kidding me? Like, I felt like I was so disconnected, you know, because when I go home at the end of the day, phone's off, like, just relaxing, and probably don't even look, to look at my phone until I get off out of the rink. So, yeah, it was pretty, uh, pretty shocked, I mean, for myself and, yeah, for everybody, I'm sure. It was quite a surprise. Obviously got a chance to work with Q up in Chicago a little bit and see what he was all about. So uh, what do you, I guess, what did he mean for you a little bit in the time that you got a chance to work with him? I mean, I didn't get to know him like that personally. You know, my interactions were very brief and professional with him. I mean, um, I mean high by, you know, really just uh, <laughs> nothing too penetrating. Um, when you have your meeting with him, you know, you get to engage with him a little bit. but. Obviously, you know, he's a great coach and he's done a lot, you know, for the organization and um, I'm fortunate to see him go, but, you know, he'll land on his feet somewhere and pick up right where he left off, I'm sure. On the other hand, you know a lot about Jeremy as yeah. much as most, especially with what you went through last postseason, right. which was his first as a pro head coach. Just what is it that you think that they saw in him that, that made him want to give it a shot? Well, I don't know specifically, but for my <clears throat> my interaction and our interaction last year, he's a very composed coach. Um, not to say that he's not emotional, but he's very under control. You know, he is calculated with what he says, and he, he knows the timing. You know, of when to you know motivate and push a team, and when to take the foot off the gas a little. So I think uh, as the game evolves, that's really. Uh, trend that you guys are going to see with coaches is just more players coaches and I think that's one of the monikers that kind of best describes him you know he's not that far removed from playing so he kind of understands the rigors he's not a rah-rah guy and a hug touchy-feely no. so why does everybody say he's a players coach what makes him such a players coach well just the pure fact that he's been in our shoes you know he understands the mentality you know he's a pretty fairly young guy you know like I said he's not that far removed so a lot of the mental and physical struggles and challenges that we go through he's been through them you know fairly recently you know so his his wisdom you know is very applicable to us and I think guys can really level with that and that's the guy that they want to play behind play for What's the relationship like between the players and Coach King, and how comfortable are you guys with him sliding in there? We're very comfortable. Obviously, there's a great, great respect. You know, he's had an amazing rep repertoire in his resume. He just speaks for himself, and just the way he carries himself. You know, similar to Jeremy, like there's a time and a place for business, but you know, we also want to enjoy the process here. You know, this hockey should be fun and. We can get better and have a good time doing it. So I think he kind of brings that you know, to the locker room every day. From our, from our point of view, those personalities couldn't be more different. Jeremy and King, or is it? I think, well, I think it's obviously different sides, you know, you see um, in the media, you know, not to say that, you know, everyone has like specific, you know, faces that you put on or, you know, things like that. but. What goes on behind the doors is, you know, different. You know, it's not always what you see is what you get outside. So, 